Okay, guys. Jaguar has got to stop doing this to Sam. It's mental abuse. Here's a young man who is stuck in a situation with his mother. And she is using it to her advantage to promote her show. But what she doesn't realize is that she is abusing him mentally. This young man has seen so much in the past and the present concerning his mother and her relationships. And now she's dragging him into this relationship with Gerald. Now she's asking him on the live so millions of people can watch this fiasco. She calls it a circus of him commenting on his stepfather, Gerald, who is going through a divorce with his mother. Now she wants Sam to comment on Gerald. Let's take a listen. And say hi. Hello. So, what's going on? Well, I was just sharing with them that we were talking about your stepfather and how we feel about it. How do you feel about him coming home? How do you feel about him coming home? I'm sorry, guys. Did she say, how do you feel about your stepfather coming home? Are you serious? Does she know something we don't? Maybe Gerald contacted her to come back. Hey, anything is possible. So poor Sam was caught off guard, but he said this. It's going to change that. And how we feel about it. How do you feel about him coming home? Speak up, because I want to make sure that they hear you. I don't want to talk to you. I want you. We're talking to your stepfather right now. Tell him what you feel and how you feel. Sam is such a beautiful young man. I am telling you. This young man is so thoughtful. He is well-spoken. He's introspective. He thinks about what he says before he says it. Unlike his mother. I want him to be able to, to work on some or work on some of those old habits and stuff like that. Like the like the drug abuse and the and the dodging of medicine. It's not to say that he wasn't taking his medicine, but he he was he's got so many bottles in there that makes the question whether or not he's really taking them out that he should be. I want to be able to I want him to get better. I I, I see some of me in him and he's he's one of the only He's one of the only few men that he's only one of the few men that, that that I've come to know, especially in such a short time. That when y'all finally got good, y'all got good. Y'all started ganging up on me, <laughs> and I was so happy because all I wanted was for the two of y'all to have a real friendship. Shoot, I come in the house and y'all sitting there together watching Forge to the Fire. <laughs> Remember, he got yeah. you started watching that slap and so happy. Because all I wanted was for the two of y'all to have a real friendship. Shoot, I come in the house and y'all sitting there together watching Forge to the Fire. <laughs> Remember, you guys yeah. just started watching that slap. This. Oh, yeah. Slap box. Father right now, what would it be saying to him right now? Because he's watching. You were saying, I'm sorry, I gotta monitor this chat. Well, I'm always willing, I'm always willing to, to talk to him. And... I 
time as a friend of the students. You are a subject. No doubt about it. It's still like to be able to have that relationship. So it sounds as if Sam is missing Goomba as well. And it's not surprising because you've lived with him for a few years now. She's been telling him not to talk to anybody from my life or anybody that you share with my life. That is so inappropriate for her to sit down and talk. That mess with her son. Doesn't matter that he's 20. That's not something you take to your child. That's for you to take to other grown people like you. But don't take that mess to your child. How do you feel about this, this shameless whore, this geezer, telling your stepfather not to talk to you? Where does the lying stop? I doubt very much if Goomba told Nikki not to talk to Sam. I mean, why would she do something like that? It doesn't make any sense. That's just wrong. That's... It's as if they're trying to silence... And silence him from anyone else that he knows. They're just trying to keep a hold. And just trying to keep a hold of them. I'm telling you guys, Sam is so shell-shocked. He's heard it all from his mother. So nothing surprises him. So as he... As she's carrying on like a lunatic, he's just sitting there watching her. Numb. Uh -huh. It not only comes off as selfish, but it comes off as almost demeaning, almost controlling. You don't want any other boy, you don't, you don't want anyone else to speak to him. You only want your own voice to, to go to him and no one else's. It's terrible. How do you feel about what Dirty Nikki has done to our family? When I when I found out that that, that she was there in the in the back, it it really made me it, it really made me skeptical of every of everything that happens. And there again. Jaguar is not telling the truth because what happened to her family, she is the cause. We saw for months what happened between herself and Gerald. We don't have to go through what happened. The tapes are out there. I started to feel bad. It did open my eyes up to some things, but in regards to her specifically, in regards to her specifically, while I while I don't know her, I don't want to know her. If you could tell her something right now, one thing, if you had the opportunity to look her in her face, what would you tell her? Tell her right now, cause she um she she watching. She always watching, ain't you, Dirty Nikki? You are a mother with children. You brought them. You brought them into this life. Show some form of empathy or motherly will, and actually take care of them. So we're gonna excuse Sam because what he's speaking on, he knows not of, and he's speaking based on what his mother told him about Nikki. It's not just you who's going through all of this. It's your kids too. And the last thing I want is another, is another me who's gone through all that I have, or worse. I need to apologize to you. That That's the first real thing she has said to Sam, that she needs to apologize to him. She needs to apologize to him from the time he was five years old and saw her arrested for the first time, and all the mess that she's taken this young man through. Shame on you, Jacqueline choices that I made when you were younger when it came to the custody battle and all of that I could have done a few things differently but I don't regret it none of it 
I do it again. So if you're gonna do it, if you would do it again, why are you apologizing? If you have not learned in all this that you made mistakes, and there's some things you could have done differently, but then that's on one hand. On the next hand, you said you wouldn't change a thing. So why apologize? It's an empty apology. I'd go to jail for you. I'd go to hell for you. But here's the thing, folks. That is something she should have changed. Going to jail for him, right? Because by going to jail for him, she lost custody of him. What she should have done was negotiated with his father. If she was nice, I'm sure that man would have allowed her to see her son. That's what she should have negotiated. But I'm jumping the gun on that. I'm really jumping the gun because she said when she went to jail, she had custody of her son. So what did she go to jail for? Well, she said she went to jail for abduction, I believe. So if she had custody of her son, why would she go to jail for abduction? That doesn't make any sense to me. Only if they had joined custody and maybe she was taking him out of state and the father was in another state and could not see the child. That's the only thing I can think of. But I think she said she went to jail for abduction and that's the thing that had me scratching my head. If she abducted him or went to jail for him and then she said she had custody of him, that doesn't make sense. So I'm thinking, it was joint custody at the time. She took him from the father, and the father didn't know where she was. Maybe she was out of state with him. And so she lost joint custody. And the father had full custody at that point. But even at that point, she could have negotiated with the father to see her son. But because she was so nasty over the years, and we've seen her with this man's mother, how she cussed that woman out. And so I would imagine the more she cussed, the more she lost access to Sam. But Sam is seeing his mother in her true light because come see me and come live with me is two different things. Now he's living with his mother. He gets to experience what his father must have gone through. But I should have listened to Stedroy. <laughs> But I was so afraid because you didn't want to have to go to a custody trial and you didn't want to be forced to have to testify against your father or me. And I understood that. You didn't want to be in the middle. And no matter how much I tried to fucking keep you out of the middle. She's really laying on the guilt trip. Can you imagine over the years all that guilt trip that she's laid on this young man? that he feels so guilty that he was responsible for her going to jail. Can you imagine that responsibility for a young man to carry around that baggage? He just drunk you back in. Here again, she is rehashing what Sam, I'm sure, wants to forget. So she's really messing with his mind. I'm telling you, this is alleged. She might drive this, this young man crazy. I'm telling you, from what I see, with all this carrying on and this young man just sitting and absorbing, she's going to drive this young man insane. For the past four months, I have said the exact same thing. And I'm going to say it one last time. You have to complete mark worldwide education curriculum in completion. You have to enroll in anger management and finish the program to completion. You have to do the PTSD Veterans Group weekly and be an active participant and not lie in every session. And you gotta get baptized by Wesley McNaught in Monroe, Louisiana. Now if you do all of those things, you come out. Because in order for you to complete all of these things, you would have to literally become a brand new person. We, we can deal with that. You big head dummy, we miss you. But we don't miss your shit. We don't miss your lies. We don't wish, miss you stealing. 
We don't miss you breaking furniture and scaring people and harassing people and terrorizing people. We don't miss that shit. Who the fuck would? If you complete all of these things, either while you're in jail or after you get out of jail, because you are going to jail. Make no mistake about that. But once you've done all of these things, then you can come home. You know where we're moving. You love that house, but you cannot cross my, cross my threshold if you ain't right. And you ain't right. Right now. But you... Okay. Well, let me see if I get this right. She's going to put her husband in jail. Then he got to go through all these programs. And then he can come home. Well, I guess this is the new crazy on the internet. This is crazy talk, okay? That's all this is. Because what man in his right mind would even go through all of this after his wife puts him in jail? Go through all these programs just to get her back? Get what back not who but what a woman who is acting so insane and even if he does go back he can't bring up his manhood he can't have relationships with her there's no way he can get his jollies off there's no way he can stand up for this woman no way no man can after all the stuff that he has been through with her, he can't get his jolly rocks off. Not ever again. Not with this woman. Oh no, he got to go to some other woman and have relationships with. This woman is just talking out of her mind, people. She's not making sense. I think even she knows Gerald is not coming back. But she is just doing all this for clicks and views, talking ish, and have her young son involved in this foolishness. Because I think everybody around her is afraid of her. They're afraid of the, her mouth. This is all alleged, but this is what I see. They just do what she wants them to do. Because they're afraid of her mouth. But I tell you who is not afraid, that Legina Gold. She's coming for that ass. Anytime Jaguar opens out her mouth, opens up her mouth to say one bad thing about Legina, Legina said, you talk any ish about me, I'm coming for ya. Get right, you can do the right thing. You're about to lose some years of your life because you allowed your mother to creep back in your mind and fuck with your head again. But she ain't gonna be the one that's doing the time. She gonna fly out and drive out to Phoenix every month to come visit you. Are any of them Clump Johnson motherfuckers gonna put money on your books? Or is that gonna be my responsibility because I'm your wife? Even though you said we're divorced and I'm still waiting for you to produce documents. No, Jaguar. You won't have the responsibility of putting money on his books. Because... If he go to jail, honey, you're going along with him. Okay? You need somebody to put money on your books. I should email it to me. I see nothing. I can only take you at your word. We're divorced. Who the fuck you talking to in your DMs? That is bitches encouraging you to date people in your DMs. If she can encourage you to date people in your DMs, why didn't she encourage you to go home to your wife? Now, this is what I find really interesting about Dirty Nikki. She always talking about God, and she's the angel that saved. Don't you understand? Thou shalt not commit adultery. It's a sin. What you doing? Oh, boy. Now she gets it. She kissed the girl in the club. She allegedly slept with some ex now she gets it thou shall not commit adultery jaguar right my god it's a sin interfering in a marriage is a sin punishable by god's wrath uh oh 
girl. I guess you got to be ducking because you committed a whole lot of sin. This adultery thing that you're talking about. You better look back. You've been sinning when you got in that Jamaican restaurant also. You were willing to go back there and get on your knees for a plate of food. Girl, you've been sinning. You know what they say in the Bible? You don't have to carry out the act of fornication. Just looking and lusting in your heart is sinning. So you got a whole lot of sinning, okay? So stop throwing stones. Ye who is of sin should not throw any stones. Jaguar right. We are Christians. Which Bible does she follow? I'd love to see that Bible. Because by what she's been saying, acting, and doing is a far cry from what the Bible teaches. For marriage, bitch, and ain't none of them kids his. You just need somebody to play Mr. Mom because you can't keep a man with you. Like you said, you married the, you dumped my husband to marry the African and that nigga unleveled up and dumped you. Well, it's a dump for a dump, isn't it? Because, allegedly, Nikki's husband dumped her, but Gerald dumped Jaguar. It's a dump for a dump. I mean, it's ludicrous that she's putting down with Nikki for her husband leaving her. Then, Jaguar's husband left her also. So, it's just a senseless argument that she's making, allegedly. Don't nobody want you? Ever! Y'all sitting here encouraging this foolishness. The bitch done told you she met him at Bobby's shop. When she was seven months pregnant with that little uh, unfortunate child that's about to turn 13 years old. You heard her say she had sex with him while she was pregnant with that girl. That girl finna turn 13 and now all she hearing about online is how her mom let that man that's in there bullying him around come all over her head. Before she was born, she was being abused. And that's what y'all encouraging? Make this very clear. Anybody who encourages that abomination that's happening over there in front of those poor unfortunate children that are about to be wards of the state because their mama is going to jail for revenge porn, stalking and cyber stalking and fraud. I think these videos are very important for the community at large because we get to see what happens when people have mental illness, what can happen when it's not under control and it's out of check. So it's a learning experience for all of us. These charges are real. She also has intimate knowledge of what happened to my car. Hmm. Maybe Arizona should look at you too. As an accomplice to my car being set on fire. I mean, you controlling my husband so much these days, he's forced to do everything you tell him to do. Maybe you told him to blow up my car. Dirty Nikki. Since it's all speculation, and Jaguar is really tarnishing Nikki's image. And if she's working somewhere and employers get a hold of this video, it can really mess her up and cause her to be fired. Nikki can actually file a defamation lawsuit against Jaguar for putting out this type of information on her. Uh-oh. Now somebody else <laughs> told Gerald to blow up the car. Oh my goodness. How many people going to be involved in this blowing up? She said it was King Twirl. Then she apologized and said, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. It's not, it wasn't you. Then she said it was who? Uh, Jay-Z and uh, uh, P. Diddy, I believe, and Rock Nation. And who else did she accuse of blowing up this car? Child, there's so many people I lost count. If you ride for that abomination, you're going to hell. Because if you agree with anything that's going over there, that house of horrors you're going to hell because God said what God brought together let no man, woman, child bill collector, mama, daddy uncle, Annie, a uh, milkman nobody put asunder and every time y'all encourage 
encourage them to keep that abomination up over there. That's y'all trying to drive our marriage asunder. And God don't like that. Now, I agree with that, Jaguar, right? God does not like ugly. And that's how you're going to get your just do pretty soon. I don't know when. In God's time, I guess. Y'all think about that. Think about what it's going to feel like when that sulfur start raining from the sky. The second that it hits your flesh, it's going to melt whatever it touches. And while you're sitting there melting to that, pure agony I want you to remember the words I'm about to say this is exactly this is exactly what y'all motherfuckers get for riding with the devil I hope I uh uh Which, who is the devil in this case you mean the for real for real for real devil or is she calling herself the devil I don't know I can you can take that either way it's very dubious that particular line right there when you start to melt down like a claymation. People wonder why. What y'all say don't bother me? I'm gonna tell you why. Cause y'all dead. You gonna die. For they will not believe the truth. I will send them strong delusion and allow them to believe a lie. And those who believe a lie believe in the devil because the devil is the author of lies. So what you saying there, Jaguar? Let me let me try to figure this out now. Let me put on my little thinking cap. Now you're saying the devil is the author of lies. And you're saying that you fill their heads with untruths, lies, because they do not believe in the truth. So what you're really saying, girl? Are you saying you're the devil? That's why you fill them with lies? Explain that a little further. He has come to rob, kill, and destroy. He creates chaos, and that's all your pussies is out here online is chaos. You got Okay, you got me confused again. Because we've been seeing for the past months, for the past year, hell, for the past two years, You've been creating chaos on these YouTube streets, girl. So what you saying? I don't know. Everything that you're saying that's devilish points to you, girl. Are you saying you are the devil? Is that what you're saying? Make it make sense, honey. Because everything that you're pointing out that's devilish points right back to you, girl. On the hell! Of course I ain't worried about you. you. You taking care of yourself. The best enemy is an enemy that takes care of themselves. She said that like if that is so profound. So no. I'm not worried about any of you sickos. Because you all dying. You just dead men and women walking. I know my husband misses me. He misses my cooking. He misses. You want to bet? I bet you $2. He doesn't. I bet you. After you open your mouth, he's like, uh uh, <laughs> we ain't visiting that ever again. This is my singing. He misses my smile. He misses the way I lay my head on his chest on top of the Daladelphia tattoo he had. See, he has the wings. He has the wings to fly away, honey. Maybe he shouldn't have gotten the wings because now he's flown away. I guess he's going to be removing that Daladalfia tattoo. I tell you guys, do not tattoo nothing and nobody's name on your chest. No type of symbols that you maybe regret. Because it's going to come a time that you're going to want to remove it. And then you got to pay double to get it removed. Now, if he has that Daladalfia tattoo, every time he looks at it in the mirror, he's going to be saying, damn, that's Jackie. Oh, that's uh, Jaguars. Oh, that's her network. Oh, that's, you know, he's going to have to remove it because it would be a constant reminder. So again, guys, I want to implore you not to put anybody's name on your body. Don't do it. Or, or no symbol. Because we saw where Black China just 
took off that symbol of the devil. Don't do those foolish things. You will live to regret it. And when I lay my head on his chest, it's star to star, they connect. We got those tattoos together. We also got this tattoo together. It's my wedding band. It says G L J. Gerald Lahaskin Johnson. Dirty Nikki, why don't you go over and get my husband's left hand and look at his ring finger? It says J S J. Jacqueline Suzette Johnson. Go look at his hand. And then go read the Bible if you can, because you are you illiterate as fuck. But you can get the uh, Bible app and you can hit the scripture and it'll read it for you. Hooked on phonics for dumb idiots. For the Bible. When you run afoul of me, you run afoul of God. And when you run afoul of God, you experience God's wrath. Anyone who encourages a married man to abandon his family, to go live with a whore that's just trying to use his wife to get famous. What, what, what was it that the dumb Monopoly bitch kept saying? Dirty Nikki, the mini celebrity? Celebrate you for what? For being an idiot cunt? And a bad mother? And a woman who likes to interfere in people's marriages. How did you feel after you dumped my husband and married that African and then you found out that he was cheating on you and left with his new girlfriend? Is that why you're doing this? You're mad that you got left? So you want me to, to be someone who gets left too? Would that, is that making you feel better? You lost your husband, so now you want me to lose mine? You're a pathetic whore. You're going to burn in hell. But before that, you're going to go to jail. And you're going to live in hell. So guys, I just want you to remember that through all this ranting, Sam is sitting on the bed quietly listening. And then you're going to go to hell because you're a whore who affronts God. I get it. That nigga left you for a bitch that's probably 10 times prettier than you. And then he turned on YouTube and you watched me and my husband. You stopped our life looking for an opening. And you found one. No, Jaguar, my dear. She didn't find one opening. She found many. Because, girl, you give her many openings. With all your antics and your shenanigans, you drove your husband into the arms of another woman. You have my husband living in your house as a tenant, taking half of his check, which he only gets seventeen fifty. So he's probably sitting around right now. He's probably down like his last hundred bucks, which is why y'all probably did that interview with uh, King World, Queen Twirl, and the Scheme Fiend, Scheme Team, and this Monopoly person who apparently paid y'all five hundred dollars. Bitch, you owe me six thousand. I want my bread. Jaguar, Gerald is not your ATM machine. Anytime you owe the money, you're coming after him for cash. That's what this is all about. You missing that extra paycheck. Girl, go find a nine to five. If you don't want to sing and boost your career and you're lazy enough not to use the voice that God gave you, go find a nine to five job. Like everybody else, go work. Every last one of you that has co-signed this abomination and this offense to God will answer to God. And when God speaks, everyone listens. We got work to do. Sam, 
go ahead and finish your breakfast. You probably need to eat it up now. Then someone got Sam so under control. He's just sitting there listening to her. He can't even move. He got breakfast waiting for him to chow down and eat and just get into his stomach. And he can't even move because he don't know what his mother is going to say if he gets up and go eat his breakfast. She had to give him permission to go eat. Can you imagine the foolishness, the foolery, what in tarnations that's going on over there? Honey. Before you're arrested, I'd like to see you. Oh my God. Can somebody just pray for Jaguar? Pray for her to come out of this slump, this madness that she's in. Because why would Gerald not want to see her? <laughs> she's going to be putting him in jail. Allegedly. Honey, before you go to jail, I'd like to see you one more time. Sounds like Scarlett O'Hara, Gone with the Wind. Oh, so dramatic. Girl, you need some acting classes because you're a good actress, okay? I'd like for us to be able to talk. I'm done being mad. I just want you to get the help that you need. I know why you've done this. I know who you're doing it for. Tell the truth. And shame. The devil. Uh oh. You don't want him to do that. If indeed if indeed this happened. You don't want him to do that, girl. Because you're gonna be going allegedly, you're gonna be going up the creek in the jailhouse. In the lockup before him, okay? You don't want him to do that. You don't want to tell the truth and shame the devil. Allegedly, you involve if that's the case. Get the help you need. Serve your time. And your family will be here for you. But you can't come home until you get right. Oh, and um, FYI, anything that Dirty Nikki has to say about Angela Owusu is a total fabrication. She never met her either. She don't know nothing about her. Um, she riding off or whatever my husband is saying and he don't know much either because he left very quickly well from my calculation you don't know nikki either you right now of what gerald told you you never met nikki in your own words so hey like i said it's a wash apples and oranges honey no concrete proof you never met nikki and you're talking a whole lot of ish about this woman so what you're saying about Angela Owusu and Nikki, if Nikki never met Angela, it's the same thing. You never met Nikki and you were able to talk about her. So Nikki never met Angela, so let her talk about her. What's the problem? Only you can talk about people you never met? Okay, I see. So yeah, all of those in, in so-called interviews she done, talking about Angela Wusu. She has no fucking idea what she's talking about. All of y'all owe me money too. I'm about to start going through all of your channels and pulling up your cash app information and I'll be sending you all cash apps for six thousand dollars. For slap done. Uh oh. Song like a girl, Jaguar is out of cash right now. So she needs it. Look, this woman is looking for money from everybody's cash app. That's what she says. Good luck with that. I don't know how you're going to get it, girl. I don't know. Apparently, people are not sending as much cash app as she would like because people are seeing the scamming. Allegedly. And they ain't sending as much. So Jaguar has now reduced herself to saying she's going into each person's cash app and get the money. Like somebody just broke into my cash up and took all the money that was there. I guess that's what she's talking about. Maybe people are able to break into your cash app. So folks, be very careful with your cash app information because someone just did it to me. And what Jaguar is saying, she going into these people's cash apps. All right? So allegedly it's possible 
to do whatever it is they do to go into people's accounts and get their money. Allegedly. So I'm letting you guys be aware of what's going on out there. People are going into people's cash apps and actually getting money from the cash app. So check on your cash app often. I was not checking daily to see what was going in. But what happened to me, I saw someone put $12 in and within five minutes, I logged out of the cash app. I did something else and when I went back in, half an hour after, it was gone. So someone went in and took it. So I want you guys to check your cash app information often, how much is in your account. And if you see a discrepancy, shut it down. But even in that, he was a reservist and he got kicked out for, um, what did they put on his records? Cannabis abuse. That was actually, that was in his discharge file while he was discharged from, um, yeah, from, from the service, from the army. They kicked him out after seven years. They said he had to go. He tried to get back in, but they wouldn't let him. But he got kicked out. It, it, it's written on his records. Cannabis abuse. And we looked at that. What the fuck is that? That's an a, that's a actual diagnosis. <laughs> See, my husband's last interview with real life street stars was all lies. There's no way my husband could have did that interview without getting into trouble. They disavowed all knowledge of his company because of the terrible, nasty things that they did when they was over there in Baghdad and Taji. They did terrible things. If any of them came out, it would be a threat to national security. So see, my husband couldn't tell anybody anything without being picked up by the FBI. He made the whole story up for $200, y'all. Made that whole story up just to get $200. Video. And I thought it was funny because you started it off by bringing up my husband's name. And how he was a big fan of Orlando Brown in that movie. And how he influenced my husband to want to go into the military. That's not what influenced my husband to want to go into the military. He went to the military because his mother wouldn't stop drugging him and having sex with him. Oh, Lord. That's why he ran to the military. College wasn't an option. They did not invest into his baseball career, and the only way he could get away from his sexual harassment and abuse. Okay, we're on to Charlotte now. We're on to the mama. And we know when Jaguar gets on to the mama, it's brutal. So I'm only going to listen to it for a short period of time, and then I'm out. Was to go to war. No, he was honorably discharged. Everybody in his company was honorably discharged. Everything is sealed. He can tell nobody nothing. And he know that. He just sat up there on that blue couch and lied for 200 hours. Okay, so now we know how much they get paid whenever they go on that blue couch. Although they say, oh, we don't get no money. They do get money. And she's saying, Gerald got $200 for sitting up on that blue couch. That's why I guess Jaguar jumps on as many couches as she can. Because it's payment. Now, real life street stars, as you now know, I no longer affiliate with the platform. Uh-oh, she made a lot of enemies. No wonder she was double-backing and apologizing to some of her enemies in the past, like King World. She apologized to him in the video last week. So, I guess she needs friends, folks. Could you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Hey, neighbor. I asked them for $7,500 for fire disease for all of the content that I brought to them. And I asked them to give me the last bit of content that they had left. Oh, by the way, fellas, Angela Wusu is asking for any footage of her 
And considering y'all have it, can you please contact her and give her all her footage? Cause I don't want shit from that crazy bitch. No, she's not. Until we hear it from Angela Owusu's mouth, okay? We're gonna chalk this up to another rant of Jaguars just to get under these guys' skin now that she has parted company with them. Anything to do with my platform. Bitch can't take a uh, DNA test and can't do chores and do as she told. Living under my roof. I didn't ask that little stupid girl uh, to put the, the electricity on. I was going live from the car and I was juicing my phone up in the car. Well, she said she's a grown woman. Why should she listen to her? If she's a grown woman, she can make decisions for herself. She don't need nobody telling her to wash no dishes, dishes that she didn't use. She don't need nobody telling her squat, cause she grown. That's what Jaguar said. You only tell kids to wash dishes. If those dishes are not hers, she shouldn't be washing nothing. Everybody's grown in that house. Everybody's responsible for washing their own dishes. Child, I'm telling you. Legina was good, because I would have told her from the jump, wash your own damn dishes. Did you see me put a fork, a knife, a spoon in my mouth with them dishes that you just put in the sink? You better know how to soak up a dish rag and wash them dishes, because they'll be sitting there until the tenth of never. We were leaving in six hours after that anyway. So I didn't care if the electricity had stayed off. We was headed back to Louisiana. But we know that's a damn lie. They were in that apartment a good four to five days after that electricity came on. So it's a lie when she said they were leaving in six hours. Lie, lie, lie. Oh, I can see her nose getting longer and longer. She went and turned on. She the one that came to me and said... I turned the electricity on. I was like, oh, honey, you ain't had to do that. She said, yeah, I know, but I need to charge my phone, and I don't want to sit in the car because it's hot. She didn't turn the electricity on for us. She turned the electricity on so she could sit online and talk about Drake. Regardless of why she turned it on, everybody benefited. So Jaguar is ungrateful. She not even thinking about her mama, not even thinking about her son, Sam. She was willing to sit in that dark apartment and not see anything whenever she needed to juice her phone run out there to the car what kind of what you call whatlessness in the Caribbean you say whatlessness not worthlessness or a person who is worthless when you want to dig it in you say that whatless that's Jaguar whatless and an imaginary blue eyed baby She did that. And then we turned around and left a couple hours later. And then the last time I came back, it was to, uh... Oh my God, the lies. They turned around and left a couple hours later. When we saw that electricity came on at least four days earlier, before she even left. It was to, um, uh, pack up and leave. She left that electricity on over there for absolutely no reason. No reason at all. Because mm -mm -mm. I, um, I didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, no. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't. I didn't ask her to do that. Mm -mm -mm. She, she didn't do it for me. She did it for herself. Lying ass bitch. The pot calling the kettle black. You fucked up with Tokyo Tony because you a silverback gorilla and say she gonna fuck you up. I said, talk about the silverback gorilla. Well, let me tell you something about them silverback gorillas, if that's what Tokyo Tony called her. If she's a silverback gorilla, if Angela Gold is a silverback gorilla, guess who is going to mess Tokyo Tony up? That same silverback gorilla. Because we know the silverback gorillas are one of the kings of the jungle. So Tokyo Tony and Jaguar right? Y'all keep effing with this girl and see what happens. She knows where Jaguar is. 
Y'all don't want to mess with this silver bag gorilla. Mm-mm. No, sir, no, ma'am. Y'all keep messing with Angela Gold and see what happens. She's going to remind y'all that you all geriatric folks who needs to be in wheelchairs. That's all I got to say. Remember, I warned you. When Legina Gold is done with both of these old broads, she's going to be saying, say my name. What's my name? Say my name. And both of them going to be saying, Silverback Gorilla. Silverback Gorilla. So all I'm saying, this is not what you want. You keep messing with Legina Gold, Angela, well, whatever name else she's going to be next. Because she keeps changing her name, honey. I can't keep track. But you keep messing with that girl of many aliases. I see if she don't come and open up a can of whip ass on both of you geriatric broads, okay? The Tasha K interview will be coming up soon. It will be announced by both of us. Certain segments are going to be only available on Tasha K Live and certain segments are only going to be available on Dalladelphia. Unless you're a Dalladelphia or a member of the shadow. So guys, drop your comments. Jaguar Ride gave us a little bit of insight as to Gerald, why he left the army. He was discharged on some type of excessive smoking of that weed. Uh, Sam, of course, gave his speech on Gerald that he would like a relationship still with him. And of course, real life street stars her affiliates she's no longer affiliate with because they had a falling out honey drop your comments what do you think of these new revelations i'm over now don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and to this video thank you for watching don't forget hit the subscribe button i keep telling you all why you keep coming back if you don't like the material you like the material so hit the subscribe button it don't cost a thing i'm over and out thank you for watching